It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Nergneo and it's a bottle of their 100 IBU 7.5% ABV Vic Secret IPA. Look at that. 100 IBU. Love it. Love it. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oh ho! Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass. And look at this chunky Nergne old glass. This is a Viking glass. Look at that. Oh. Right, bottle condition beer. Leave some of that sediment in the bottle. But look at this. Slightly hazy, lovely looking IPA. Nice levels of carbonation, two finger, slightly off white head. Oh boy, it looks fantastic. A little bit of sediment floating round, amber in the colour. Let's get the aroma. Wow. immensely piney, immensely tropical. Do you know what I used to find or what I do find with beers at 100 IBU is that in the aroma it's got a slight medical smell to the beer. They put that much hops into the beer that it's got a slight kind of medicine-y aroma. Not at all in this. This is slightly sweet, very piney, and loads and loads of tropical fruit flavours coming through. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Oh. Yes, boom! Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows, what an awesome beer. First of all, I would like to talk about the drinkability. Drinkability of the beer then is that, yes, it's moving into double IPA territory, but it's holding on. Even though with all the hops added to the beer, you do get a slight stickiness on the lips. There's a certain amount of malt added, 7.5% ABV. The more malt you add, the more alcohol. So they put a fair amount of malt in the beer. But at the same time, it's very, very, very drinkable. Nice hint of carbonation on it as well. It kind of tickles on the palate. But other than that, boom, it's all pine needle and tropical fruit. Wonderful, wonderful beer. And, and, and in all honesty, and, and this is another good trait for me yes there's bitterness on the back end but if you told me it was 100 IBU if you give me this being a blind taste test and told me it was 100 IBU after I tasted it I would have been like really I mean yeah, actually is that a good thing or is that a bad thing should I be choking on the hops I don't think so I think this is all about lots and lots of tropical fruit flavors So yes, it's very stingy and piney. If I'm really thinking about the bitterness, it's underlying, it's going on underneath all of that tropical flavor, all of that big, punchy pine needle, mango, passion fruit, lemon, grapefruit. It's, it's, and then there's an underlying bitterness that's just kind of, just tickling along underneath. So, uh, we are in luck again to get a new and exciting hop variety. Vic Secret, pardon me, has the perfect blend of pine and fruit to allow this hop to shine. We have created an IPA in the true West Coast style. Pardon me. They're saying it's a, it's a live ale, so it's an unpasteurized, full flavored, unfiltered beer. 
and it's Kiel. I'm not sure if it if it's the original brewer you know on here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can if I can get this to focus in enough. But that there signature, that that signature there, it does say Kiel. I'm wondering if it's the original brewer because the beer was brewed on the third, the March tenth of March, 2016. So, in all honesty, it's going on. It's the 18, It's the 19th of February today. So, we're about two weeks away from this being a one-year-old beer. So maybe, maybe this might have been Quell's Quell's last beer that he brewed at Nergney. Now all the yeast has been added. It's a bottle conditioned beer. What that what that means is if you're a new viewer is that they've added some yeast to the bottle. Maybe small well, probably not nergony, but some brewers add a pinch of sugar to each beer to, to help it ferment. But yeah, it's the second fermentation process. That's all vitamin B. It's all very good for you. One finger white head. Let's give it a rating. Vic Secrets Nergonate O's 100 IBU 7.5% ABV IPA for me <sighs> I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10 it's a stone the crows 9 out of 10 from me Low Craft Beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers